what does it entail? Safety is very broad. But in firearms safety, we talk about you understanding what the firearm is. We say, they, they, they say there are four rules of firearm safety. Mm -hmm. One of them, they talk about you handling the firearm. Right. That is on the basics of training. The basics of training is how to handle and use that particular firearm. Good. How do you handle it in something called business, business purposes? Mm -hmm. Or how do you handle it on something called, like now, domestic, which is home. Mm -hmm. Home use. Not home being your house only, but home being yourself. Yes. Yourself, you're at home. So in, the, in that aspect, we look at it as in what is your normal business? Are you a lawyer? Are you a doctor? Are you a, are you a musician? What do you normally do? Mm. Then now, when we are training you, we make you understand that this firearm is a tool that should not be handled carelessly. Mm. It has controls and it has measures. You have to be able to know that it cannot be pointed at anything you don't intend to destroy. Right. It can never be pointed at anything you don't intend to destroy. If you already have a firearm in your house, you're supposed to be able to tell your children. You're supposed to be able to tell your wife. If they know you have a firearm, that this thing should never ever be pointed at anything you don't intend to destroy. Should you tell your kids? If they already know you have a firearm in the house. All right. But and if they, they don't, might, can, you, can you declare well in advance, I walk in a house and tell them, hey, today... And uh, mepata so and so, eh? Uh, I have one. It, it depends. You know, some people would walk into the house and tell the family that, okay, today I've got a salary increase. Some mm. others will not. Some <laughs> others will say I bought a, a property. Some others will not yes. say they've bought. So it depends on how you run your house. Mm. But if you're, if you're, if you're keen about what the firearm dangers and security matters are, it is important that you get them be educated to the level of knowing that this is not something to be played around. Exactly. With. And it is important for them also to know that when they want to access that particular firearm, it is at a, another, another level. We normally at times insist mm. that if you know that the safe that you're using is accessed by your wife, when you're going for your training sessions, it would be important to bring out your wife. Yes. Let your wife come out there. Let her understand. Let her see the dangers of this thing. Let her know that when you pull the trigger, the bullet will go. So we say that keep your finger off the trigger at all times until when you're sure and you're ready that you want to fire. We say that you should treat all firearms as loaded right. at all times. There's no time we presume a firearm is not loaded. We say that you should understand your target. You should know your target. What is in front of your target and what is beyond your target. Mm -hmm. And then we teach you about the parts, the nature of the firearm. You need to know the parts of that firearm. What is it that makes this firearm fire? What is it that makes it not fire? Why is it that this firearm has been shaped this way? Why is the handle the way it is? And when I hold the handle, it has been made that in a way that is going to fit my fingers. So my fingers will wrap around it, and my trigger finger will automatically go to the trigger set. So what will happen? It will fire the gun. So I need to know and understand these things. Then it also tells me on matters to do with the bullet. How will the trajectory of the bullet operate? If I'm in a room like this, and I want to disarm my, 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 mm. my firearm, I've walked in from work. How do I disarm my firearm? Yeah. Do I go and face it towards the kitchen? Do I face it towards the bedroom? Mm. Do I face it towards the windows? Because I don't know what is outside there. So I'm not sure of my target and what is beyond it, isn't it? Yes. So do I, do I pull the trigger to confirm that the chamber is empty? They tell me not to put my finger in the trigger at all times until I'm sure of what I'm doing. They tell me to treat all firearms loaded at all times. They tell me never to point at anything I don't intend to destroy. So we train you that you find at the edge of the wall and the, f and the floor and you point your firearm in that direction so the bullet can ricochet mm. and lose its power and mm. not harm anyone in case yes. there is an accidental discharge which would save you from it being not a negligent discharge if you have been able to check on the firearm to see how clear it is. Mm. So we, we do insist a lot on matter safety to the gun holders. When you go home, your bed, your, your mattress is a direction you can face the firearm. The floor and the wall is a direction you can face the firearm. When you're at your parking lot and you're in a secured compound area, with the wall and where there is a hill of soil is where you can face it when you want to unload it. But don't store your firearm in the safe when it is loaded. Don't store your firearm in the safe when the magazine is inserted and is in the safe and that safe is accessed by many other people. You remove the magazine, I can demonstrate for you, Yes, when you come shortly after you come yeah, after the break. Yeah, right. Right. You can be able to see, you can demonstrate by moving the firearm, move the magazine from the firearm, put it on the separate and this one on the separate side. So you're sure, beyond reasonable doubt, that that firearm is safe. It is not opaque. You cannot see through it. Exactly. Yes.